welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikhat and you're watching me on Express Passion. And first of all, I really want to say I'm so sorry that I am uploading after a long, long time today. And that is because I was on a holiday. I was on a, you know, kind of a tour spree. So now I'm back in Delhi and finally I am just loving it in front of the camera, in front of you all now. So there's one question that I've been asked most on Instagram and that is how I do my makeup. So I thought why not, you know, start straight away today i wanted to share with you all uh, something that i can really finish off within two minutes yes this is this look that i'm wearing right now if uh, we ever get to meet personally you will see that this is the kind of makeup that i wear on a regular basis we women find it really difficult to look and kind of put together or maybe groomed on an everyday all day basis so having a knowledge of something that can just make you look kind of you know presentable all day long is so so important so if you're ready for this look then let's get right into this so i'll start by pushing all my hairs at the back with the help of the hairband now i'm going to move on to moisturizing for this i'm using biotic bio wheat germ cream this is a night cream but i use it even in the mornings because i have super super dry skin it's so important to moisturize your face before going on to do any makeup to start with a prepped base. Now you can see a little bit of scar that's there on my forehead. I just hit myself with a window pane. Now I'm going to move on to the sunscreen. For this I'm using Biotic Bio Sandalwood Sunscreen SPF 50. Never forget sunscreen while you are doing your makeup because that can really harm and damage your skin in the long run. Now after the sunscreen I'm going to move on to concealer. For this I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. I'm going to dot this concealer under my eyes and around my mouth where I have a little bit of pigmentation. Now I'm going to use my fingers to blend this concealer in. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer is one of the best concealers that's available in the market. It gives a dewy finish, it never looks cakey and it camouflages and hides the dark circles and the pigmentation like no other. I always use fingers to blend in my concealer because that actually warms up the concealer and gives the better blending effect. Look at the difference, how polished my face looks. Now I'll move on to either a pink lip balm that is Maybelline Manhattan Mauve or I use a nude lipstick that my shade is Naughty Nude from Nykaa. Today I'll go in with, uh, let's go for a pink one. Now this is my secret way of doing makeup. I can do my complete makeup with the help of just either a nude lipstick or a lip balm. Now if you have a wheatish complexion or if you have a deeper skin tone, you can go ahead and use a different shade of a lip balm. Uh, you can choose between maybe uh, Baby Lips from Maybelline or maybe Lakme Lip Love. Now you can see that I'm using the same lip balm on my cheeks and on my nose and I'll be using it also on the socket of my eyes. Now with the help of the same lip balm, I have created the kind of contour on my cheeks and you know contoured my nose a little bit and I have brought out the dimensions of my face. Now this gives a monochromatic finish that is you have the same color on the eyes, nose, cheeks and lips. I love these kinds of looks. They look really really natural and it really gives you a very flushing kind of an effect. I love them. This is the Korean way of doing makeup. Koreans usually pay a lot of attention to the blusher and this trend is going to be a big hit in 2020 as well. Now I'll take a spoolie and I'll brush my eyebrows in the upward direction. Now moving on to the eyebrows, I will take the Miss Claire eyebrow pencil in the shade dark brown. In order to strike a presentable appearance every time, it's so important to pay attention to your eyebrows because maybe you have a perfect hair and a flawless makeup but your eyebrows are neglected, then everything just boils down to zero. So I'm using the same Miss Claire eyebrow pencil and I'm filling my eyebrows with it. You can see that I'm just going in with the natural shape of my brows, nothing over dramatically drawn. Now this is not a flawless kind of a makeup, it is a very very natural kind of a makeup look and I also believe that on an everyday basis, you know, flaws are to be embraced not camouflaged. Now I'm going to move on to mattifying my face. For this I'm using Lacme Rose Powder. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to take the powder in it and use it sparingly on my face. 
Do not use a lot of powder because your face might just look cakey then. You can also use baby talcum powder. I do not prefer using compact powder every day because that can really harm your skin if they do have titanium dioxide in them. You can see how natural my face is looking. And that's exactly what you should look for for everyday makeup look. Now I'm going to move on to curling my lashes. Now have a look at this. Now I'm going to move on to a clear gel mascara. Mine is from the brand MN. I love, you know, using clear gel mascaras on an everyday basis because I don't want people to know that I'm wearing any makeup at all and also it might just happen that you might just cry or it might just rain or you might just want to wash your face and but of course I do not want people to know that I'm wearing any mascara at all. Now I'll take a white kajal pencil and I'm going to apply it on the waterline of my eyes. Mine is from the brand BU. If you apply black kajal on a regular basis, then go ahead and apply black kajal. I'm not a kajal person, so I always apply nude pencils or white pencil. This is the finished look, guys. It looks super natural, very quick and very easy to do. This can be worn on a regular way basis each and every day. The makeup that is very, very skin light and skin like. And once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to complete it really fast. Wear it with the half ponytail or your open hair. It's going to make you look really natural. I'll link down all the products that I used in this video in the description box below in case you want to check out. And if you do try to recreate this look, do not forget to write to me in the comment section below what was your experience. Or you can simply upload your picture on Insta and tag me at Nikhat Afros. With this, I'm going to take your leave. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.